Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to round decimals. And specifically, we're going to take a look at rounding up a 9. Now, as we go through our examples, I'll show you two different ways to think through these. Let's jump into number one, where we have 896 thousandths. And the first way that we're going to think through this is to relate this to regrouping or carrying like we do in an addition problem. So we're going to round to the hundredths place. The digit in the hundredths place is underlined, that nine. So let's look to the right and see if we round up or stay the same. So we look to the right and we have a six. Remember five or more and we round up. So six is five or more, we're going to round up. If we round up a nine, we get 10. So we put the zero in the hundredths place and then regroup or carry the one from that 10 over to the next place to the left. In this case, the tenths place. So in the tenths, we have one plus eight, which is going to give us nine. So 896 thousandths rounds to 90 hundredths. Another way we can think through this, let me rewrite our decimal here, going to round to the hundredths, is take a look at two digits. So we're going to look to the right. We know we're going to round up. Let's look at these two digits here, the 89. Think of this like an 89. So we round up an 89. If we round up 89, that gives us 90. So let's put our 90 here, put our decimal in and our zero to show that we don't have any whole numbers. And we get 90 hundredths that way as well. Let's try a few more examples and move on to number two, where we have four and 99 hundredths. So we're going to round to the nearest tenth. We have the digit in the tenths place underlined. It's that nine. So look to the right and we have a nine. So we are going to round up. If we round up a nine, we get 10. So let's think of this and relate it to regrouping or carrying. So put the zero in the tenths and regroup or carry the one. Now we have that one and the four, that's going to give us five. Bring our decimal down in between the ones and tenths place. And four and 99 hundredths rounded to the nearest tenth is five. Let's try it the other way. So four and 99 hundredths, we're rounding to the nearest tenth. Look to the right, so we round up take a look at two digits here. So think of that like 49. If we round up 49, we get 50. But don't forget the decimal in between the ones and tenths place. So we get five that way as well. Let's move on to number three, where we have 47 and 295 thousandths. So we're going to round to the nearest hundredth we have the digit in the hundredths place underlined. It's a nine. Let's look to the right. And we have a five. Five or more, we round up. So we're going to round up. Now, if we round up a nine, we get 10. So let's put our zero in the hundredths and then regroup or carry the one. One plus two gives us three in the tenths place put our decimal in and then the whole number. So 47 and 295 thousandths rounds to 47 and 30 hundredths when we round to the nearest hundredth. Let's try the other way as well. So nearest hundredth, we know we're rounding up. So look at these two digits here, 29 rounded up, is going to give us 30 hundredths. Include our decimal and whole number, and we get the same thing that way as well. Lastly, number four, we have 59 and 9 tenths. So we're going to round to the ones place here, also known as rounding to the nearest whole number. The digit in the ones place is underlined. We have a nine. 
let's look to the right and we have a nine. So we know that we are going to round up. If we round up a nine, we get 10. So let's put the zero in the ones place and then regroup or carry the one. Now we have one plus five, which gives us six. So the nearest whole number or rounding to the ones place is going to give us 60. Let's try it the other way. So 59 and 9 tenths, rounding to the ones or nearest whole number. Look to the right. We know that we are going to round up. Take a look at these two digits here, and we have 59. If we round up 59, we get 60. So 59 and 9 tenths rounded to the nearest whole number is going to be 60. So there you have it. There's how you round decimals, specifically rounding up nines. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.